guys, welcome to Rex Gaming. I'm Spectral Rex Seven. Footage I've made for you guys today um, is my best class setup for the Bal 27 assault rifle, which is deadly. Uh, I might add. Um, I've been having a lot of fun with this, swapping and changing the, you know, the attachments and and the perks and kill streaks and, and so on. And um, the setup I'm about to share with you guys it is one that I'm really, really comfortable with. And I found uh, I, I I could play the sort of the best with with this this setup. It, you know, it worked best for me. So I'll share it with you guys today. Um, as we know, this is a Bal 27 assault rifle. Um, attachments wise, um, I run the foregrip and the silencer. Um, silencer, um, I, I've I I tend to run on on quite a lot of my my uh, my classes. What it is is going to keep my my shots off the radar is going to sort of not give my position away um so that that is you know that is the reason i use that um i know it, it, it does it does affect the range um but it really doesn't seem to to affect it that much you know uh, as you can see in this i'm uh, you know i'm making them them long shots so you know that don't don't really worry about that too much um the foregrip um reason i run the foregrip is um it is just pretty much there's not very much recoil on the ball as it is, um, but I suppose it's just force a habit from from playing uh, some of the other Call of Duties, um, where the kick has been, you know, been been quite quite bad. So I've always run a foregrip on there just just to give me that extra that, that extra bit of uh, stability. Um, it's just going to stop it from kicking about everywhere. So that is the reason I run that. Um, perks wise, guys, we'll get onto perk one. Um, I run lightweight. The reason I run that is, is it, it's just pretty much explains itself. It, it's just making you that you know that little bit, not much, but that little bit lighter on your feet. Um, it helps you uh, you know mantle things quicker. Hence, like things like climbing. Um, you know, even though you can you can sort of double jump, you know there might be a time where you just need to climb over summit, uh, uh, and that will help you do that a lot quicker. Um, perk two, guys. I run fast hands. Um, the reason I do this is it is this pretty much explains itself as well um, because I don't run a secondary. Um, I like to be able to pick other people's weapons up if need be. Even though I run scavenger, which I'll get into in a sec, um, I, I like to sort of if I am running low, um, then I like to be able to pick a weapon up, and I, you know it sort of it sort of reassures me that if ever I need to, I, I'm in one of them sticky situations that I need to to swap to another weapon. Which I have, I know that that's going to be ours because you know it. We've all done it. We've tried to swap from one weapon to another, and it is quite sluggish. It's quite slow. Um, I've been caught out a few times. I've tried to swap weapon and uh, uh, and uh, and died because it took too long. So that's pretty much the reason why I run that. Just got a peace of mind for myself. Um, perk three, guys. I'm ru I'm running two perks on these. I'm running toughness and scavenger. Now the reason I run toughness is. This, you know, it it sort of. If I get into a gunfight, and I, I sort of struggled at the beginning of this game, uh, uh, with timing and stuff like that, and reaction time and stuff, you know, I found it quite difficult. I'm starting to get there now, um, but yeah, the reason I run this is, is if I do get into a firefight where I am, I, I'm aiming down sight, you know, the last thing I need is to be getting shot and, and it be bouncing all over the place, and you really, I'd imagine, nine times out of ten, you will lose that gun battle because you just can't, you know, you just can't keep your your, your iron sight or your red dot sight or whatever you guys are using uh, on target because it bounces about too much um, so that is my my reasoning for that scavenger this is just force a habit for me guys i've always used scavenger always have always will you know last thing i want to do is run out of ammo so pretty much you know that is the reason i run that um exo ability that's personal preference i run the exo stim on this and it's just to help me regenerate my health quicker just in case I, I do get into a sticky situation, you know, can always go prone somewhere or, or crouch somewhere and, and give myself that that energy boost so I can get straight back into the fight. Score tricks, guys. We're going for the, the Goliath and the Warbird. The Warbird, I, I I have it so that you know it acts as a battle hind. It goes around doing its own thing, and which means I can sort of run around and do my own thing. You know, carry on carry on there uh, with, with 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 what I want to do with game wise and, and not have to worry about that. Um, the Goliath, I use the Goliath. It, it it's just a bit of fun for me, really. Um, 
it, it has got me, you know, a couple of kills every time I've used it. But it, I just, you know, it's really good fun. So that that is the reason why I use that. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If so, give it a big thumbs up. Do try this class setup, guys. Hopefully, it works for you guys. Um, but yeah, like I say, like we see, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you're not, guys. And until my next video, you guys take it easy.